I'm gonna make a duplicate of this uh, layer using Edit Duplicate. I make both the layers 3D by clicking the little square in the box just beside each layer. As you can see immediately, After Effects adds new properties. All I want to see is position. I'm gonna increase the last value of position, so it's X, Y, Z. I'm gonna change the value Z for the layer on top to increase it. And also I'm gonna change the value of Z for the layer behind, so it will go away. I also move the layer on top a little bit more towards the right and the layer underneath a little bit more towards the left and vice versa actually. I want to make sure that now uh, when I move one of the two objects the other one will move accordingly but I don't want to use a virtual camera. So I'm gonna click this little extension at the end of the switch bar that says stretch and when I right click I choose the column called parent. When I click parent it adds a new column here that I can use to link one object to the other there is in fact a little pick whip that I can use just to pull from one side to the other and from the top layer to the bottom layer. Now as I change the X position of the parent layer, meaning the one that says none, I will be able to move also the other layer accordingly. And as you can notice here, I'm not moving by the same uh, distance uh, apparently, but it's the same number of pixels. It's just that since one is in front and the other one is far, they look like they are moving by a different amount. It's the same effect that you experience when you are driving the car and you look out of the window and you see that the items closer to you are moving faster than the items further. I'm gonna make a third duplicate of this layer, so duplicate one more time. And this one I will increase the Z value even more and I will shift it more towards the right. So now I have three items. I'm gonna make sure that now the second layer also parent to the number two that I've created before. Now by changing the X position of one of the three layers, I will be able to change the X position of the other two. I can also change Y position and they will change accordingly. To understand the full setup that I've created, I'm going to change the view from one view to four views to the left. And I'm going to focus on the one on the top to explain exactly how I have positioned the three layers. So I have one layer very far in the back, one in the middle, and one in the front. The one that I have parented to both of them is the one in the middle. So just by changing the position of the one in the middle, the other two will change accordingly. This is how to create parallax shift effect in Adobe After Effects CS6.